everybody, and welcome to the Ronaldo Fan Podcast. I'm your host, Gunstone. We have here my co-host, uh, Swordstone, over here. <laughs> yes, welcome, everyone. <laughs> we're happy to bring you the newest Ronaldo news from here to the next beach city you'll ever see. <laughs> now, here in our episodes here today, we really have some great Ronaldo content. Did you see that part in one oh, of the yeah. episodes where oh, he yeah. had the sword? Oh, my God, <laughs> Ronaldo. Ronaldo. What a brave man, Ronaldo. Ronaldo really is the real hero of the story. I mean, Ronaldo let's be clear is here. Ronaldo is my favorite character. All right. You know, I was thinking, the creators of the show do a podcast. They like talk about behind the scenes stuff, and they sort of recap the episodes makes me think maybe this podcast is a little bit redundant, you know? Yeah, one might think that. And it is. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the Bespoke Podcast. Welcome to the Bespoke Podcast with your hosts, Dingus and Dumbass over here. <laughs> well, we're making some valuable Steven Universe content for you today. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. right, and uh, welcome to the Bespoke Podcast. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, okay. Welcome to the Bespoke Podcast. Your we... source of Steven Universe news. <laughs> uh, not, not, not news, recaps. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're a little late for the news. Not breaking news. We're in the editorial section. Go to the, go to the news. <laughs> go to CNN for your yes, news. Yes. Today we're talking about the new Steven Universe episode. Yeah. And have you ever noticed how Rebecca Sugar likes to, like, stockpile plot threads and then resolve them all simultaneously oh yeah definitely <laughs> like, uh no no not one by one here no 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 no, no. no like back with the cluster arc it was just like the cluster and also malachite resolved yeah. <laughs> in one double episode feature oh, it's yeah. like malachite cluster paradox go go everything resolve everything now is done at once and later we got like jasper and like jasper is corrupted in a bubble and also the rubies are back and also Rose Quartz, Shatter Pink Diamond, also, all at once. <laughs> also Beta <laughs> Yeah, it's just... And now we have the biggest of all. Like, okay, it's important to keep in mind, we had a we had a long break, but Rose Quartz was revealed to be Pink Diamond yeah, five... Yeah, in case you forgot. Yeah, but that happened five episodes ago. Oh and my goodness. By the end of this, it's already old news. We are I past know. that. We have blown through it. I want to see a lot. What was the date that was revealed? It's probably like a year ago at this point. <laughs> I haven't been keeping track, but I'm just going to assume. But like, so we got Rose Quartz's Pink Diamond. Garnet split up. Bismuth is back. Oh We're goodness. having a wedding. Garnet's back. The diamonds are here. The diamonds are Lapis here. Lapis is back. And prom's tomorrow. <laughs> Everything is happening at once. And it's insane. And it's insane. Let's get started with our first episode before we go too far off in the weeds. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, we're already in the weeds at this point, but look, we have a weed whacker and we're going to get started with Now We're Only Falling Apart. Because <laughs> we are falling apart. We are falling apart and Garnet fell apart. Because the news of Rose Course being Pink Diamond was too much. Tremendous. Yes. She came undone. And we were saying last time about, oh, this will be interesting, how they like sort of differentiate it from the last time they yeah. came undone <laughs> with, with Ruby and Sapphire and Pearl. Ruby and Sapphire, the first time, like, what Pearl did, Ruby, like, took really personally. And Sapphire was sort of just like, okay, we need to, like, not take this yeah. personally and, 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 look, yeah. and look past this. Yeah, and Sapphire's problem was she wasn't really... Sapphire's just like, uh, you're being dumb. And she's like, no, I'm not. <laughs> and uh, yeah. that's what made them fight. Yeah. And, and in this one, it was more like, well... It's it's a bit it cuts a bit deeper because yeah. of what because like specifically with their history yeah because of Rose lied basically lied to them yeah and like Ruby doesn't really see what this has to do with them seeming yeah <laughs> seems like what it doesn't it doesn't come between us but like Sapphire sort of yeah thinks about it differently it's like this is the entire basis of our relationship <laughs> <laughs> which is a little I mean I'm I'm just gonna I mean you know I'm not gonna like take a whole like go to go to town on this or anything but you'd think they'd find something else within like four thousand years or whatever they, they kept saying the number but it's like you know you think you, you, if you've been together that long you could find at least one other thing you have in common <laughs> yeah. besides just rose yeah but basically in this episode is a flashback episode yep 
about Pink Diamond. Basically, now that yeah. we've thrown the lid off Pink Diamond and Rose Quartz, now that we basically know the secrets, they're just giving us everything. Yeah, now. we sure. don't. They're laying all their cards out on the table. Yeah, we don't. We're not keeping anything hidden anymore. We have all the answers. Yeah, now. we have all the answers now. We don't probably. Need them. Yeah, yeah, probably. Unless something changes in the next episode, which you know. <laughs> no guarantees. Pink so, Diamond was actually White Diamond in this Yeah, no, Pink, Di- Pink Diamond's actually <laughs> is, White Diamond. There's so many layers. <laughs> yeah, but I think my favorite thing about this episode was like, let's. A lot of people had some thoughts. The yeah. last episode about Rose Quartz being Pink Diamond. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, obviously, it's a little bit controversial. Yeah. And, like, it was funny to me that, like, a lot of the complaints that even I would think about, was like, well, what about Ro- So Wait? She was, like, having a rebellion against herself? That's a little yeah. ridiculous. But, like, literally, these are brought up in yeah. the episode That's by, like, think- Sapphire. <laughs> like, so, that, yeah, they, like, acknowledge the fan the fan sort of reaction and basically like said all right no here's how here's what it's like here's how it is <laughs> yeah, it's like look, look 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 i know this is a stretch <laughs> stick with me for a minute it's pretty much what it was just, just watch this next five episodes and we'll, we'll get you back i promise but yeah but sapphire yeah. F- forgives rose quartz i guess forgives pink diamond by the end yeah. and realizes that she was mean to ruby and it's like, oh no, and they run back, and lo and behold, Ruby is gone. Yeah, Ruby is gone. Which... Done. Done. <laughs> done. Which I'm glad they didn't just, like, make Garnet back together in the first episode. Oh which, yeah, that, was, that would have been lame. That would have been lame. That would have been like, ah. Uh, I mean, that's just, uh, that's just Walking Dead cliffhangers, right? Uh, at the very end of an episode, somebody breaks their leg. Like, at the very end of the episode, zombies come around the corner, like, they were all just hanging out there <laughs> listening to music, I guess, and just in time for someone to break their leg, and then the episode ends. <laughs> but no, we don't do that here. We wait at least five episodes before they get married. <laughs> yeah. But we'll get back We'll get back to that later. So, yeah, this uh, episode was pretty good. I liked it. Yeah, it was... Uh, I enjoyed most of the flashback, yeah, I, I got think. A bit, of, a bit of rose and pink diamond. Yeah. Well, not rose and pink diamond. Uh, pearl and pink diamond. Did you like, catch the little amethyst joke? That I yeah, yeah. Remember? They were yeah. like, it's like, we're waiting for her to come out. It's like, ah, she'll catch yeah, up. Yeah, where's like XJ9 or whatever her name yeah, was. Yeah, whatever it was. Was her name XJ9? I don't think it was XJ9. Yeah, I don't know. I think XJ9 is like, my life is a teenage robot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Moving on. All right, next one. <laughs> what's your problem? What? Yeah, what's your problem? Yeah, what is my problem? Um, Great question. So Ruby's run off. Ruby has run off. Because that's no. what... No. No. And Sapphire is really upset about it, and Pearl's really upset yeah, Pearl, about it. Yeah, Pearl is really pulling... Like, I mean, people say Pearl is useless, and, like, Pearl... And, like, Steven even says later in the episode, like, you're the most mature crystal gem. But I, Pearl needed it to be there. Somebody needed to comfort Sapphire. Well... Who's gonna comfort Sapphire while they all go looking for Ruby? It's not like Ruby's, like, hiding or something. They don't need all three people on it. Come on, somebody needs to comfort Sapphire. You guys are being mean. <laughs> I don't know. Sapphire's crying over here, and you guys are just Yeah, well, so is Pearl. (laughs) Yeah, that's that's, that's sympathetic crying. Have you ever heard of sympathy, (laughs) empathy, you monsters? (laughs) It looked a little more like Pearl falling apart. (laughs) Yeah, look, it's just two people having, you know, they're just sharing their feelings with each other. They're feeling vulnerable right now. They're missing somebody (laughs) they love, and you guys are just, you know, just being mean. Can't believe it. Such um, as oh, this is the positivity we've come to expect from this <laughs> from the Steven Universe random. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, seriously, that was hilarious when they're like just sitting there crying and like Amethyst is like, Steven, yeah, I'm coming to Steven. Too. No, they're like, sitting and in front of my GameCube. Like, yeah, yeah, and then it's trying like, to play Luigi's Mansion over here. <laughs> And then they, so yeah, they're going after Ruby, and they check the ocean first, which is just like, why would, why, why did you think she went to the ocean? No, that's hilarious. They definitely should have picked. Should've. That's awesome. I know it's hilarious. They, but it's she could have just walked into the ocean. <laughs> it's hilarious, but I'm like, wait a minute, why, why did you just assume she went to the ocean? They're on the beach. <laughs> you know, there's two. Di- they explain this. There's like, there's two directions they could have gone. They flipped a coin. Yeah, there's two directions she's gonna go. And it seemed to me like they picked, she probably went to the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> they well, walked to the ocean. Remember last time when she was mad? She uh, went to the pool. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
And now she's... Maybe she's trying to boil up the whole ocean. <laughs> boil the whole ocean. She's trying to get rid of Lapis no, Lazuli. Yeah, you think Lapis was strong. Yeah, yeah. Ruby's gonna boil an entire ocean. You think lifting the ocean's cool. <laughs> yeah, right. but... This episode, they don't actually find Ruby. Yeah, it's just uh, an Amethyst episode. Steven and Amethyst. It's actually just mostly Amethyst, like, ruthlessly messing with Steven, <laughs> and then later claiming that it was, like, all... That it was trying oh, to... come on. No, nah, I'm, I'm just joking. Don't, don't I'm, not being, I'm just... Okay. I'm, 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 I'm pulling your leg. I'm just joking, I know. Yeah. But, I yeah. I, 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 I hate people who eat Amethyst. Amethyst is the best. Amethyst is the best. But I'm, I'm, here's, here's the spin they're going to put on these anti-amethyst scammers. <laughs> these, these Nigerian anti-amethyst scammers. <laughs> the, the spin they're going to put on this. I'm like, oh, Doi, uh, amethyst is just messing with Steven and not helping. Like, as if they're not just walking around looking for, like, a rock. Like, come on, guys. It's like, what is she supposed to do? Like, get a telescope out? Like, come on. I mean, like, Stephen is, stands on her shoulders that one time. Yeah, no, exactly. extremely helpful. And, yeah, like... Stephen's really <clears throat> short. He needs that. So, basically, Amethyst is trying to cheer Stephen up. It's not working. Stephen's worried about Ruby. They go get pizza. I like how the pizza is, like, a metaphor for their... Yes. For how, what they're going through. <laughs> and, like, they're just like, ah, oh, it's just so much. And it, like, drops out of his hand. And then he, like... Gets like a napkin and like bundles it up. And yeah. like it's like oh, that's a bit on that's a bit of a on the nose yeah. metaphor there for Steven. <laughs> like, yeah. poor well, Steven. at least they didn't say it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's yeah, pretty good. I mean, unsubtle visual metaphors are still better than telling the audience. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> talking directly it's, it's to the audience. It's a step up at least. I'll, is, I'll give them that. It is definitely a step up, and we and yeah. So. Amethyst upset is upset, but she's trying not to be upset, basically, yeah. for Stephen's state. They have a heart-to-heart on a beach. Yeah. Which uh, is nice. Uh, not, b- not before oh, flying yeah. around yeah. in... They gotta fly... They gotta, like, have... <laughs> before they have the heart they gotta have a chase sequence first. <laughs> <laughs> Amethyst <laughs> flies away as a helicopter. Yeah, it's very funny. And Stephen jumps after her, saying, let me help you with your feelings! <laughs> which, is the great, yeah. which is the greatest battle cry I've ever heard. <laughs> Fight on, Stephen. Fight, Fight on. on. And then uh, after crash landing Amethyst at the beach, they have a heart to heart, like I said. And uh, And Amethyst is the most mature crystal gem. Yeah, Amethyst is the most mature. (laughs) Amethyst's friendship will pierce the heavens. Exactly. (laughs) And I think, I think I, I think I can agree with, I sort of agree with that at this moment because like. Literally no one else is, like, thinking, oh, no, how does Steven feel? Yeah, I know. That's literally only Amethyst. Only Pearl's Amethyst. falling apart. Ruby and Sapphire are literally falling apart. Well, yeah, she was the only one who was kind of insulated from the whole Rose thing. Yeah, yeah. Because she wasn't even around when, like, the line was really happening. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. She was still on a rock. <laughs> so, I mean, you could say that's a little unfair to judge them on the same scale, since she only yeah. Rose afterward. But, but like, they still, are, like... Her, yeah, they, exactly. they, they are basically Stephen's parents, and yeah. they're like you can only make so and many. Ste- and Stephen's basically taking care of them right now, <laughs> yeah. in some weird way. <laughs> yes, yeah. Well, yeah, but in times the end, of crisis. Huh? In the end, they, I don't know. Yeah, I don't they know. go find Ruby. Yeah, they go. They have an epiphany about where Ruby is. Well, no, the. Jenny, oh yeah, wait, yeah, that's right. Uh, it's like saying, oh, I delivered it to Greg, and he's with a little red friend. Yeah, really. Right. Whatever. Give me a huge tip. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Greg. Yep. It's nice to know Greg's a good guy. Greg's, with it, Greg's not stingy with his tips. No, he's rich. <laughs> no, he's rich. It's good to know. That's just uh, good background knowledge. Yep, yep. So they fly off, and we move on to the next episode. La Pregunta. The question. Yes. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. Yes. Ha ha. <laughs> I, I bamboozled you with my strange tongue. <laughs> yeah, so they find Ruby hanging out on the on what did they call it they called it like uh it was what is it like was it like brooding rock or brooding something rock or something brooding point I don't yeah know. brooding point brooding rock <laughs> it's a pretty great name brooding cliff and they're hanging out there reading comics and yeah. eating pizza which reading is like comics. the best pastime oh, of all extent, extension of the pizza metaphor the pizza is now simple and I think it's just cheese <laughs> extension of the pizza metaphor yeah exactly my new favorite sentence well, I mean, you know, it's the most important sentence you'll ever hear. Extension of the, I mean, extending the pizza metaphor is important. <laughs> so it's like Ruby is like, like Sapphire's like got this big pile of garbage and like is all this baggage. Well, Ruby is just like straightforward. Sapphire said that we were a lie, so I guess we're a lie now. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, she doesn't really believe it, but, yeah, you know, yeah. at this point, she's sort of, like, dealing with it like that. Yeah. And, like, at first, I was like, oh, wow, she's already, like, just sort of over it. And then I'm like, well, she did spend some time with Greg, yeah. who was, like, the best dad. Yeah, and, like, he totally, man. like, just made everything better because yeah. he's the best. Thank, thank goodness Greg was allowed to just, like, tag along through this whole thing. He's exactly. The <laughs> he's the best. Greg is like the anti Ronaldo, where like you can tack him on into any episode and it make the episode better. Exactly. So he's sort of like you know negative Ronaldo. Negative Ronaldo. Nega Ronaldo. Nega Ronaldo, also known as Stevens. Dad. Yeah, also known as uh, yeah. also known as Greg DeMaio. So DeMaio. Oh DeMaio, yeah. Anyway, the. the they, Ruby decides she wants to be a cowboy yeah. because why not? Well, of course she did. That's what Sapphire said. <laughs> yeah, that's what Sapphire predicted. Why would she become which, a cowboy? Which, like, the first time I watched it, I didn't get to watch, I watched them all as they came out. Yeah. So, like, I didn't actually, like, pick up on that until the very end of the episode when, like, Sapphire goes out to meet her and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> it suddenly clicked. I was like, oh. <laughs> why should you be a cowboy? The, the, the joke never gets old. <laughs> yeah. I watched them as it should be watched all at the same time. <laughs> yeah. So I got it right away. <laughs> but yeah, like. After, actually, honestly, after I heard her say, why would you become a cowboy? I was like, what? Because, <laughs> yeah. like, she did the square pizza thing on that the other time. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. He's not yeah, going like to like that it's square. Not going to like that it's square. Why would you be a cowboy? Yeah, like, all right. Never, it never gets old. Uh, Ruby Ryder, <laughs> this song. This old Ruby Ryder is Ruby riding alone. We're Ruby yep. riding alone. <laughs> yeah, that's that was so. That was the next two minutes of the episode, yeah, and it, it was it, amazing. It was awesome. And if you don't like it, you're wrong. Yeah, it's just wrong. <laughs> it's it awesome. beautiful montage of Ruby being a cowboy. Got into a gunfight with a snake. That was pretty cool. That was intense. Yeah, I mean, I was I was sweating. I was yeah. on the edge of my seat there. Yeah. And then, of course, afterward, Ruby's like, "Dar oh. you, we never saw it coming." And it's like, "Oh no, Ruby's Mrs. Sapphire because they love each other. Because they love each other. It's adorable." And, and Stephen has a great idea. Yeah. It's like, well, I know. <laughs> what I what I, well, what I'm thinking is like they basically came to the same conclusion that I came to immediately, which is that they've already been together for like four thousand years, so they probably have something else to go on. <laughs> but it just took them a little while. <laughs> just they, they, just, they, were they, just, they just needed some time. Yeah, apart. they just needed a time apart to think about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. And so Ruby decided. Oh yeah, and uh, I like the comic book thing where he's like, "See, look, the cowboy still has a wife." Yeah. You know what? Oh, <laughs> this episode was great because, like, halfway into it, I was like, just minding my own business, watching an episode of Steven Universe, and then suddenly, out of nowhere, I'm watching an episode of Adventure Time. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was the female episode. <laughs> it was, it angel was face. Yeah, it was Angel Face. <laughs> it was just so. I almost wonder if that was, like, an intentional nod. I cannot. I, it seems like, like it must be. Uh, especially it, it since was, Rebecca Sugar is, like, working. Yeah, exactly. Like, I. Seems too close yeah, to know. It's like somebody transforms into a horse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, somebody decides to be a cowboy for a day. Being, yeah, somebody's being a cow somebody's being a horse, somebody's following along, trying to keep them on the right track. Uh, uh, there's no real meme out, I don't really think. Well no, but, <laughs> but uh, there's no real villain. It, 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 but I'm still, like, I was just the, the moment the villain. moment Amethyst turned into a horse, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> What's wait, going on? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> when did I start watching a different show? And that was great. Hold on one second. <laughs> but finally, at the end, they get back together. They pop the question. Ruby proposes. And it's adorable. Question. And we get the real question and the real answer. Yeah. It's I not guess, love. I guess it's, well, it's the actually, answer is well, just actually, yes. Yeah, actually, it is actually love. No, <laughs> the no. answer is still love. It turns out it was love the whole time. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> turns out this thing you thought was love this whole time like pulls the curtain out. It was love! All along. All along. No one knew. But well, it was love. Ruby pops a question. And it was adorable. And, and I it was it. adorable and great. And it's like, hooray! And then the next episode. Moving on. Moving on. Moving right it's along. Time to, it's, it's time to get down to bismuth. It's time to get down to bismuth and plan a wedding. <laughs> Let's get down to bismuth <laughs> and defeat the diamonds. <laughs> I'll stop. <laughs> Please, no more. Right. Anyway, they're planning a wedding. Sapphire's upset that all her friends are dead. <laughs> <laughs> Sapphire, 
It's like, hmm, man, this is like all sparse. Yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> and, 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 and Steven's like, hey, I know one of your friends that isn't dead. And I kind of helped, like, when I first, when he first, like, went down there on his own to see Bismuth, Bismuth I was a little like... Yeah, why didn't he just take everyone down there with him? Like, oh, no, I was going to be like, Steven, why didn't you bring Garnet with you? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wait. Yeah, yeah, well, not Garnet. <laughs> it's like, why didn't you bring... Uh, oh, well, because he wanted us to be a surprise. Yeah, it's true. Because he's dumb. And like, I don't know, maybe he was afraid... They would like try to like stop him, attack her, or stop stop him, or well, like attack just, Bismuth to protect him. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like you know, if he had just gone down there with him and like explained it, it'd be like, well, yeah. this is what I'm gonna do if he attacks. You know, we're all here. Well, we're that's the thing. Orbit. He wanted he she wanted to make sure it didn't turn into a fight, <laughs> so he went up. He went down. It was a great reveal though, like like all the name cards and like Stephen like sitting one, looks over the temple, looks back and you see him write something. Yeah. It's pretty, dun. it's like, oh, dun, dun. snap. Dun, dun. So, yeah, uh, goes and to the temple, pops up, pops up on a, a bismuth. Go yep. bismuth. <laughs> Man, I finally made it out of there. Yep. Bismuth. And, uh, yeah, keep going. Bismuth is back. Back, baby. So, this is addressing the point that uh, a lot of people have brought up of, like, uh, uh, bismuth not being corrupted and therefore possibly capable of being reasoned with and therefore maybe shouldn't be in the same bubble with all like the uncontrollable <laughs> monsters which makes sense to me but I figured they were just too busy and like they, they kind of have they kind of have other priorities like being teleported to other planets and stuff yep yep and like yeah Biz Bismuth probably Bismuth did literally try to kill yeah, Steven yeah it's so. not like Bismuth is like innocent you guys and like, like, don't say like oh my god she's been through so long First of all, you don't even notice any time passing in there. And second of all, <laughs> she tried to kill Steven. She tried to murder The main Steven. character. His name is the show. You're not allowed to kill that guy. It makes you the bad guy. At least for the episode. <laughs> yeah, tried to murder Steven. But Steven brings her out and manages to sort of reason with her, basically. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically, explo and basically, he's like, well, uh, the situation's updated. And actually, it's actually not as bad as we thought. <laughs> Yep, yep. Oh yeah. First, Bismuth like freaks out that there's like a billion gems. Like, oh my god, did yeah. Rose kill everyone? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's. A, I mean, think. I mean, when you think about it, it's sort of like seeing like a bunch of. Imagine like a bunch of like heads up there. <laughs> yeah, just a bunch of floating heads. Yeah, it's. Like, <gasps> so I laugh. Finds out about the corrupted gems and is very upset about it. Stephen tells her everything, and she sort of like screams into the lava pit and. After that, she's basically fine, which is great. Yeah, I love Duncan. I love yeah. Duncan in a lot of it. But like, I think it's interesting that she's just sort of like turns around on this whole breaking gems thing pretty fast. Um. Well, when you think about it, like her whole thing was like, I'm gonna break pink diamond specifically. <laughs> that's true. So now it's just like, well, pink diamond was rose quartz. Yeah, that's true. Whoops. Like, and another thing that sort of like occurred to me after watching it a few times. She sort of looks up at like all the bubbled gems and thinks, "Well, this is kind of the what would have happened if my plan had worked." Yeah. This is this is the result. Everyone is like corrupted and trapped in bubbles, yep. and it's kind of horrible for everyone. So maybe my plan wasn't that good after all. <laughs> so she sort of like, "Oh, I guess friendship is the I answer." I guess friendship is good. I mean, it's not like she, like, I mean, if you remember back to the Bismuth episode, she was pretty friendly with everybody. She oh, yeah. She, a good time. She, it was just, like, Rose Quartz that she had a problem with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. And that was under false pretenses anyway. Yeah. And it's a good, and it's a good, th it's a good thing by the end of that episode, Bismuth, she, like, acknowledged Steven as being Steven and not Rose Quartz, or else this could... It would be could, annoying. Could have gotten worse. I know, because especially calling him, <laughs> calling him Rose Quartz isn't even accurate. Yeah. Oh, well, there's a third option yeah. now. But basically, Stephen wants to surprise everyone with Bismuth. Bismuth is like, oh, I don't know. They don't want me around. They want me in a bubble. Yeah. But Stephen says, no, they love you. And it's like, yeah. And it's like, yeah. Great. And, everyone, Great work, and Bismuth is back, and everyone's happy. Yeah, Bismuth is cool. Everyone. I mean... One could argue that after, like, the two episodes of build-up to the, like, the bubbling, 
One could argue that one episode of Redemption is a bit quick, but she has been in that bubble for quite a while. The Bismuth episodes were, it seems like it was a while ago at least. Yeah. I'm going to give her a pass on this one. It's been long enough. <laughs> Maybe it's just the hiatuses. We'll see. Well, when the whole series comes out, I'll watch it all, binge it all, and we'll see if it's actually good. <laughs> Like just time wise, like what well, you know? well, just like giving us like enough room to like, so it's not like feels like you pointless to put her in the bubble since we're just taking her out immediately. No, that's true. So yeah. like, I think that it would be important to have enough time in between them so it feels like there's a point. Yeah, that's true. And I think there is because I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes on between her bubbling and yeah. getting out. So yeah. I, from what I can remember right now, I'd say it worked out pretty good. I'm really glad Biz is back. Yeah, I know she's cool. She's a cool character. But anyway... And she's built up for a real long time. Yeah, kind of. She's in the thing from, like, yeah, the first... Yeah, Lion's Mane since, like, the first episode or something. Yeah. Not the first episode. Not the first episode. Anyway. Line, the first Lion episode. Moving on <clears throat> to my other new favorite song. It was adorable. What? I love, I love the I love the song in Reunited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it starts out as kind of, like, kind of, kind of sad and kind of melancholy. I was like, oh, is this what this episode's going to be like? And then it, like, switches on a dime. It's like... A wedding! A wedding! <laughs> it's a, and it's great. <laughs> For just one day, let's only think about love. love. It's a great song. I wish it worked out like that, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I wish it had just worked out like that. Unfortunately, things go wrong later. Yeah, but the are... wedding, I really like the wedding. Things are going well so far. Yeah, it's all setting up the wedding, getting the flowers, Better getting the flowers. cake. Better flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Better flowers. Getting the cake. I like how they mentioned Lapis just that waiting on the moon. Yeah. So it's like, oh, it's sad. Just the image. Just thinking about it makes me go, oh, yeah. poor Lapis. Just hanging around the moon. It's a shame she's never coming back. Yeah, shame. What a shame. And she's then, just too good at running away. And then they have the wedding. Greg plays a chill acoustic guitar version of Stronger Than You yeah. as they walk down the aisle. And that was amazing. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yeah, yeah. Oof. And then... Everything goes wrong. <laughs> the sky uh, gets dark. Onion points to the to the sky. The herald of the end. <laughs> and two giant arms appear. <laughs> two giant arms appear, to be followed by a third giant arm. <laughs> yeah, to be followed by a third giant arm. <laughs> to arm wrestle them. <laughs> to arm wrestle them, and yeah, that's what happens. The diamonds just show up in yeah. the mi- what feels like in the middle of the episode, and it's amazing. It's yeah. Like, Oh well, it feels like the middle of the episode because it's a twenty-two minute one. That's right? true. So it is the middle of the episode. <laughs> yeah, it's just sort of like, all right, they're here now. It's like yeah. the way like Garnet's just like, they're here. It's like they're what? <laughs> no. It's like the last time. Well, it's because uh, I I thought that was cool because Stephen like starts crying and then yeah, Stephen starts crying. Wait, like, a, wait minute. a minute. This isn't. Th- these are natural tears. Wait. A like, I know natural tears when I feel them. The last time a giant hand came from the sky, like it, it was, it was just coming yeah. down for like an entire episode. Yeah, I know. But this time they're just up. Oh, they're here. There's it's like, two. Oh, <laughs> good God! How did we not see them? So anyway, the diamonds show up. They start punching the earth. <laughs> it awakens the cluster, which was pretty cool. I like cluster. I was like, wow, cluster, huh? Yeah. Go straight for there. Yeah. I thought they'd like spend more time like getting the cluster out, like. Oh, we've only got five minutes till they reach the cluster. Yeah, I thought, I thought that was going to be the episode, then, but like, no, the cluster's just out. Yeah, it's like, oh, the cluster's crap. just out, and it's like, a chill dude now. And it's a giant arm, and it's like, just gives him a thumbs yeah, up. It's like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, cluster, cluster. <laughs> cluster, cluster. My new favorite one million characters. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen in, like, the Steven Universe art book, like, the sort of, um, the sort of art the original art for the cluster uh no i don't think I have. it's I'll so that cool that looks, yeah that sounds awesome it is the coolest it's just like a just this giant sort of i can't even describe it it's yeah. just awesome i'll look at it someone should you should all everyone listening should look up the concept art for the cluster in the yeah. Steven universe art book it's amazing it's pretty cool but I've this heard. looks nothing like that. <laughs> it's, yeah. just, it's just it's just an it's just an arm. It's just a little bit of a. It kind of looks like a meaty arm. Like yeah. it's got like sinew and like muscle. Yeah, that stuff, was weird. <laughs> which uh, I guess sort of represents like all the different gems inside acting as like a mu- like one little like muscle one tissue. I great guess. Mighty arm. Yeah, I guess that's like you know. 
pretty much just me interpreting it. But yeah, and then of course Yellow Diamond starts arm wrestling with it, and that keeps Yellow Diamond busy for a while. But Blue Diamond comes down and is like, "I'm ready to wreck everyone." Yeah. <laughs> Blue Diamond's like, all right, keep the cluster busy. <laughs> Time to depress some people. <laughs> so uh, Blue Diamond reveals that her sadness is not, in fact, a passive, but an active ability. <laughs> yeah. And Let's uses see. it rigorously. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, pink, blue, blue Diamond uses depression. It's super effective oh, it's on super everyone, effective. except for Connie. Uh, Connie's fine. Connie's fine because she's not a gem. She's not effective. She's ground type. <laughs> she's ground type. She, these types of attacks don't affect her. Yeah, and then she... she Gets online and goes for an attack, but she breaks, breaks the, the sword. sword. Which is interesting. That sword's broke. Yeah, that sword. Well, I mean, maybe they got Bismuth. Yeah, Bismuth so. will remake it, but or make a better one. Or ooh, yeah, that's probably to replace the sword. Honestly, they yeah. probably got bored of that one. Someone, well, someone's got to get yeah, exactly. to Connie a new sword. Yeah, Connie needs a sword. It's, it's a dangerous maybe one that's like not the size of her whole body. <laughs> but well, you know, anyway, that's, not, that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. But anyway. Uh, yeah, um, oh yeah, uh, Lapis comes back, yeah. uh, uses depression on her, it's not, not very, very effective. effective, not very effective, <laughs> this is like, this is like double, uh, double ineff- ineffective, you know what I'm talking yep, about, yep. But like, uh, you know, 0.4%, you get, <laughs> oh, not 0.4%, you're getting like, you know, a fourth of the damage right here, you're getting like double <laughs> resistance right now, like, I'm already sad, and I'm already blue, you can't do anything to me now, <laughs> Already sad. And throws already a house blue. at her. <laughs> she throws a barn at her. Uh, yeah, that's, and Garnet like sort of keeps her distracted long enough for her to do that. Yep. And we get another like little moment with Garnet just being totally badass. Yep. With like her little theme playing. I love. I love that. Just her stronger than you her, as her like lay motif. Yeah. I and they need to use that more often. Yeah, it's really great. Pretty good. And then, yeah, but Lapis drops a barn on her. Yeah, Lapis drops the like, barn, and like they try to get her in the water so Lapis can like eat her or something. <laughs> yeah. But mostly they're just kind of like tapping her on the shoulders, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Like even their strongest attacks can't even hit the dime. Well, no, you know, yeah, they get her. Eventually. They get her down on her knees, and is like, "All right, we're winning." And then she just stands up. And then, well, then like yell, then like the cluster like throws the giant yeah. arm crushes the house is like oh no the house like don't worry i can fix it my dad is like uh-oh oh, can't fix that huh <laughs> yeah. and then greg comes out with the cat away. with the cat it's like yeah all right so i was like they actually have this like weird very short moments like we won it's like no you didn't what's going what are you talking about then, but then obviously yellow diamond jumps yeah. out of her ship pulls <laughs> like lifts up yeah. the arm for like Blue Diamond yeah. to get up. <laughs> just like And Blue Diamond's completely fine. <laughs> yeah, just got like a little bit of hair messed up. And that's and then, it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Disgraceful. Disgraceful. Zap's Paradot. Yeah, and like That's immediately. Parrot's like, ha ha! It's like, Bleh. immediately kills Paradot. And like, Paradot. Not that Paradot was really helping. Well, you know. Uh, she did the eye thing. But, that, <laughs> but, that, but she could have just been a rock. <laughs> well, she is one now. Yeah. That's it. And like, it's like, oh no, Steven. Alright, time for. Steven, like the first time, Steven tried diplomacy. It was not very effective. So Steven decides, I'm going to try diplomacy again. Yeah. <laughs> and again, it is not very effective. No, he gets kind of like, stomped. <laughs> Yellow Diamond literally just crushes him. Get out of here. And, and that was really brutal. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's like, oh man. Yeah, and then like. He makes it out okay. Like when, when you first like see like Connie like sort of standing over him, like. Um, like, and it's just sort of like, he was like laying down, I was like, I'm right here, Connie. Like, it sort of, I thought like maybe he'd been poofed or something. Yeah, I know, me was, too. And I was like, no, it's just, he's unconscious. When you first, when he first like gets like the eye opening thing and it, it looks like Connie, like you're looking at her through a gem. So I assumed like he was looking at her like from the inside. Yeah, that's what, that's but, what I thought. Uh, but like, no, nope, just unconscious. Just doing his, uh, well, just, astral projection just, thing. Yeah, just his own equivalent of being Yeah, poofed. exactly. <laughs> and just using his powers as a very powerful psychic medium to influence the minds of others <laughs> well yeah but basically for his own gain as he did in that one episode where he took over the body of Lars <laughs> what a what a madman what a mad what a manipulative genius <laughs> but yeah basically they're fighting like they had they could have stood a chance against just blue diamond they probably could have won that yeah, fight honestly, but with did. blue and yellow diamond like they're just getting picked off one by one Lapis goes down next, yeah, yeah. and Lapis was like was, kind Lapis of important. Lapis was the MVP. Let's be honest. <laughs> Lapis was kind of important, but uh, but like luckily, Stephen like goes to all his friends and says, "Keep fighting, you're the best." And he's like, "Yeah." 
And then Gives Steve, them all a spirit slap. Yeah, Steven uses telekinetic diplomacy, and it's more effective. <laughs> yeah, technically, for those to keep it track home, that'd be telepathic. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, like keeping our keep our story straight here. <laughs> telepathic, but yeah, telepathic diplomacy. It's super effective. It is super, they're very weak. Well, actually, they've got some side defense. They have some it's side no defense, match for, but it's no match for Steven's Steven has, side attack. Yeah, exactly. Steven's like side attack has been so devastating for so long that they can't stand. They're not ready for him. <laughs> not ready. He pushes right through all the defenses. <laughs> And, and corrupts their mind without their knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that... Implants knowledge in their mind, basically. <laughs> no, Stephen makes them, like, tells them, like, finally yeah. explains to them sort of what's going on yeah. and what happened to Pink Diamond. Yeah, kind of, like, makes them feel the presence of Pink Diamond in their mind. So they're like, wait a minute, pretty I much. know this. This <laughs> is a Pink Diamond thing. Yep, pretty much. And that's basically yeah, where the then, episode ends. Yeah, that's the episode ends. Diamonds Steven are, wakes up and the diamonds are like, oh no! Pink diamond, we almost killed you I didn't again. mean to step on you, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill you again. It's like, and now, just a real quick aside. Some people are like, oh, you just made friends with the diamonds. You don't know that. that. We only saw them not fighting for yeah. like one second. Like, at the same time... What was the alternative? It yeah. was either Steven gets through to them or everyone dies. Yeah, I mean, so. these are the diamonds, dude. You can't, like, beat them. That's the whole point. <laughs> yeah. If you could just, like, fight them, they would have done that a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that's the end of Reunited. Steven made friend, befriended, like, sort of empathically connected with the diamonds, finally. Yeah. And that's where we're left yeah, off. Yeah, that's the end of the episode. That's the whole bomb here. And that's it. That's it. And it was pretty awesome. Yeah, I'd uh, say I enjoyed these a lot. These uh, past yep. five episodes. Uh, mm. I give them a five out of six. <laughs> anyway, a couple of comments, though. Yeah. It is kind of funny that Blue and Yellow Diamond just apparently went to Earth like on their own yeah, instead of like trying to just head on over there bringing they? an army or whatever but i guess it was sort of personal for them maybe yeah and I, I so mean, I'm, I'm willing to let that slide because it was like what was the specific reason they were there for the cluster right i guess yeah and they also and also up, they were like sort maybe, of like yeah. angry at rose yeah <laughs> i mean i could i could if somebody told me that like they were going for the cluster and like they couldn't bring anybody else because the cluster would kill them I'd buy that, because, yeah. like, it's too dangerous for non-diamonds to handle the cluster. I don't know. I think they were just going after... They were sort yeah. of, like, going after Rose Quartz. Also, you never know who was on that ship. That's true, but, like... Yeah. Then how come they didn't show up? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they just stayed in the ship? Well, all the while, ones while in the yellow ship got crushed. Well, they just stayed in the ship while their leader fought for them? Yeah. It was like, I don't know. Well, I mean, they're like, these are the crystal gems. You guys are just going to get killed. <laughs> so, the diamonds are now sort... We don't know exactly what's going to happen with the diamonds but it looks like they're just sort of friends now maybe um well you know there's no guarantee that they're friends they're probably gonna have like a little bit of a like uh, come to a mutual understanding like you know stand up like well you know we don't like you crystal gems but uh, we have to respect your methods <laughs> <laughs> i don't i don't think, yeah, I don't think that's gonna no, well, like, I, I, I see like blue diamond being like Oh my god, she's still yeah. alive, this is amazing. And, and then Yellow Diamond is sort of like that at the beginning, but then she sort of like says, Okay, though, but you, yeah. you faked your death. That was really messed up, Pink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like Blue's probably going to be like, Oh my god, Pink. <laughs> and then like Yellow's going to be like, Me fine. You grumble, grumble, son grumble. of a... Yeah, like, grumble, grumble, grumble. And like at the very end there, we did see like Yellow Diamond like in her thoughts was just like she does feel very she does feel responsible for what happened to yeah. pink diamond and she's really upset about it and it's really and it's kind of a sad moment it's like oh this is all my fault yeah. <laughs> and yeah so yeah it was your fault <laughs> <laughs> kind of, uh, right, maybe, it. maybe it's white diamond's fault i don't know yeah well, that's we have to we have to wait we don't we haven't even See, see. They haven't even said the words white diamond yeah, yet. we don't even know if that's what she's called well i mean i mean come on she could be just pretty... she could be just diamond. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or clear diamond. Yeah. Or pure diamond. If we're going purely by patterns here, though, she's probably named White Diamond. Yeah, she's probably in that big ship. That Actually, shape. and she's and she's almost definitely in a huge ship shaped like a head. 
That's almost certain, yes. Also, that's not entirely true. We did see her hand for like one second oh, yeah, in one right. flashback where like yeah. je- the diamonds are like I destroying, remember. laying waste to the earth. Like you see yellow and blue's hand and then one more hand like coming down. Yeah. like, oh snap. Yeah. Okay. That's literally the only thing we've seen of white diamonds. Eerie. <laughs> yeah. So, so we'll, we'll wait on that one first. Yeah, so, I'll, I'll put that prediction on ice. So assuming that it, I am, it is kind of interesting just to think about like Lars is still in space. Oh yeah, he is. Like with all the things going on, I was literally expecting Lars to like come down and like land on yeah. Yellow Diamond or something, just like crash into her. Just like, ah, I'm Lars. Because I'm like... Space Captain Lars here to save today. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, got to batch processing. We got to get all these plot threads tied off simultaneously. Yeah. It's like, but no, Lars didn't show up. Lars is still in space. But like, maybe now that Yellow Diamond is sort of not trying to kill yeah. everyone well maybe we don't know yeah. well what so here's here's a prediction for you here's a hot take for you uh so yellow diamond and blue diamond can't bring themselves to destroy the crystal gems because pink diamond is there and he and steven convinces them to leave earth alone so they leave but then white diamond finds out about it and she's like uh no <laughs> and then they, i don't care and about then, pink and diamond then they, and then they uh they voltron combine all their little body part ships into the giant robot <laughs> to fight the cluster and then, and then all the crystal gems fuse with Steven, who then fuses with the cluster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's like and a then, finale prediction. Yeah, there. and then uh, and then Steven accidentally destroys Earth because he's too big and he doesn't know how to handle it. It does seem like we might be like winding down like the entire show, though. Yeah, I know. It's like, like the two diamonds. Of, that's that pretty big. Two main antagonists are sort of like. Not neutralized, but like they're certainly not in as antagonistic of a situation as they were in before. Yeah, yeah. So basically, the only big antagonist left, other than Marty, is yeah. White Diamond. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, and Onion. And Onion. Also known as the same person. Also known as White Diamond. Yeah. It's genius. <laughs> Any other predictions? I don't know. I just. Any predictions on when the next episodes are going to come out? <laughs> Not even I am foolish enough to predict such a thing. <laughs> yeah. um, Comic Con's coming up. Maybe we'll get some. Ah, maybe they'll have some trailers. Some trailers of Comic Con. Some That'll dates. Be nice. Some, some dates. Uh, nice spoilers for me to ruin the episodes. Exactly. I don't want spoilers. I just want dates. Just give me yeah, dates. Yeah, yeah. Just give me the same top. with Steven. Same with Adventure Time. <laughs> When's the finale yeah, of Adventure? Are time? you just going to release that stuff? Ah, my goodness. This is a Steven Universe podcast. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Thank you all for listening. This has been the Bespoke Podcast. I've been... What was it? You're Swordstone. I'm Swordstone. This I'm, is, I'm the Gunstone. <laughs> this has been the Ronaldo Podcast. Everyone loves Ronaldo. This has been Everyone Loves Ronaldo Podcast. Uh, goodbye. Yeah, yeah. Steven Universe sucks. Uh, if you <laughs> like it, then uh, you have bad taste. Uh, see ya. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so, so where are we? <clears throat> Excuse me.